This demo is going to show uh, different types of modulation, kind of a simplified way to let you think about how an RF wave can carry digital information. And the first one we're going to do is called BPSK, and the B stands for binary. B, binary. There's only two options, a 1 and a 0. If we assign the 1 to a sine wave, Let's look what that would look like. Sine wave starts at 0, goes up to 90, crosses at 180, and then comes back to 360. It peaks right here at 90 degrees. If we took that same view and instead put it on what's called a polar coordinate map, we were going to go 90 degrees down, and this little dot right here would represent a 1. So this is a 1, a 1, etc. Now, if we want to show a zero, it's going to be the opposite, or in this case, it's going to be a minus sine wave, and a minus sine wave goes the opposite, down, up, down. It peaks at 270, and we're going to show it 270 degrees around, or right here would be a zero. This is a very simple modulation scheme. It uses a sine wave or a upside down or a minus sine wave to represent either a 1 or a 0. It's fairly simple. Here's the benefit of it though. This BPSK is extremely resilient to, to noise or interference. If for whatever reason this 90 degree peak got moved over, it was something to the left, it would be over here. If it was somehow bumped over to the right, it would be over here. We have a term called EVM, EVM stands for Error Vector Magnitude. An Error Vector Magnitude represents how many errors we have, it's not where we wanted it, how far away, the vector is the direction and the amount of error is how far, the magnitude. For BPSK, we have a box, an EVM box, that looks something like this. We have a very, very wide range, and BPSK is extremely resilient. I could be here, or here, or here, or here, any of these places, and it would still be a 1. In fact, I could be at 1 degree, right here, or all the way to 179, and anywhere in between will still be a 1. That means BPSK is extremely resilient to noise and interference. BPSK, by the way, in 802.11, G, A, or N and above, the minimum data rate for BPSK is 6.5 meg. So we can still get very decent data rates and be extremely resilient. That's for BPSK. The problem with BPSK is it only allows us to have one single bit. One bit per cycle. If I want to go faster, what do I do? Well, for this, we're going to use QPSK. The Q stands for quadrature, or 4. We're going to use the same type of techniques. For the first column, the far right column, a 1 is going to be a sine wave, just like we had before. And a 0 is going to be a minus sine wave, like we had before. No different there. So here's our minus sine wave. Here's our sine wave. 90, 270, but we also have a separate column, the column on the left. These are going to have, the ones will have a cosine, and the zeros will have a minus cosine. Let's see what those look like. A cosine starts up here and drops down, it comes back up, it peaks at a zero. And a minus cosine is the opposite and it peaks at a 180. So now we have sines and cosines in different kind of mixes. If I wanted to send a 1-1, one, one, that means I need to send a combination of cosine plus sine. Now when I put those together, it ends up being right here in between the two. It peaks at 45 degrees. Thus, if we plotted it, it would be right here. 45 degrees down, this represents a 1-1. One, one. There's another one in this quadrant, and this quadrant, and this quadrant. They represent the four different bits. With this, we now have the ability, in one single radio wave, 
one single wave, depending on where the peak is, it can be in any one of these quadrants. We still have an EVM box. But note, this EVM box is half the size of the other one. We're now transmitting data twice as fast, but the cost is we're less resilient. We have less ability to handle interference. QPSK is better than BPSK, faster, but also less resilient. We're still only sending two bits every cycle. What if we want to send more? Well, in this case, we're going to switch to something called QAM. The Q is still quadrature. The A is for amplitude. We're going to change. We still have the same waveforms we had before. Oh, let's see if I can back that up. The same waveforms we had before with the sine and the cosine and the minus sign and the minus cosine, the same little bit. But now we have the ability to not only have a 45 degree, something here, we have another 45 degree, one low and one high. We've added amplitude into the situation. Now we have a total of 16 possible combinations, each is sending four bits. But we have a smaller EVM box. The EVM is now smaller, meaning we're less resilient to noise. We're less able to take a single radio wave and pinpoint exactly which bits it wants. Each of these boxes represents a different set. If we were going to have all four and be this outside box, this would be one, 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 one. Every box has a different type. If we want to go faster, this is pretty fast. We're getting four bits for every single radio wave, and we're sending the radio waves really, really fast in billionth of a second. But what if we want to go faster still? Well, we can move on to 64 qualm. This one, I'm not going to draw all the sines and cosines, but you can see I have one here that's at 45 degrees. I have another one at 45 degrees, and another one at 45 degrees, and another one at 45 degrees. I also have one here and here, and you can see the angles here are getting really, really tight. The differences between each of these locations are fairly close. I have an amplitude level at each of these levels here, and I have an angle to hit to each of these. And they start to get more and more precise, meaning each EVM box now is a much smaller box than we've had before. Less resilient, far less resilient, we used to only have one box. For BPSK, we back all the way out of here. Let me see if I can clear these really fast with my finger instead. When we first started with BPSK, and I'll use this, this box as the example. For BPSK, we'll cover the color of this first one here uh, red. BPSK was one single thing, and the EVM box was this large. Red, BPSK. When we went to QPSK, it was right here at 45 degrees, and the size of the QPSK box was this big, half the size. As we went to from QPSK to 16 qualm, 16 qualm had right here, and this was the size of our EVM box. When we finally get to 64 qualm, the EVM box is even smaller still. And you can see how you went from purple to yellow to blue to green. Each EVM box got it smaller and smaller. What happens in Wi-Fi is when I have a very high SNR, I can maintain a high signal strength, very low noise, I can maintain the really small green Q64 uh, QAM box. EVM very small, not very resilient to noise at all, but I get to send six bits every single cycle. With 802.11 as far as we get to 802.11 AC, it allows us to have a 256 QAM box, which is even smaller, and the EVM box is smaller and even more precise, and it's harder to maintain that data rate. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand at least a little bit better of how we can have a single waveform represent anything from a single bit to two bits to four bits to six bits or we're 256 qualm up to eight bits. Thank you.